Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is our 20th year doing Toys for Tots at Roosevelt Field. The Simon Management Group has made it happen for us once again. They invited three elementary schools from Garden City. The teachers over at Garden City teach the children to give back. Today we received so many new unwrapped toys, we're going to put a lot of smiles on a lot of children's face. Well, Hurricane Sandy's over, but there's still the aftermath down on the South Shore and the North Shore. And there's a lot of children that need a lot of help because they're, they're out of their homes, families, the economy. And so with your help and the people from Roosevelt Field and Gold Coast Bank, we we're able to pick up a lot of new unwrapped toys today. We'll be doing it every day from now all the way into Christmas. The firemen help us collect these toys, otherwise we'd never be able to do it. The firefighters in Nassau County have always joined with the United States Marine Corps. It's a natural fit. The United States Marines are our first line of defense to protect our freedoms on our shores, and the firefighters in Nassau County are the first line of defense to protect you at home. So it, it just works real well together. The, the firefighters are very supportive of this program. They realize that there are a lot of children out there that are not going to have a happy holiday, and because of their efforts in joining with the Marine Corps and all the other organizations between the PBAs and the uh, civic groups, we're able to collaborate together to collect a lot of toys and make sure that no child is forgotten on the holiday. at and a great partner in the Toys for Tots program, a great corporate neighbor and a generous, generous corporation. At at and we um, partnered with Toys for Tots for improving their communication needs as well as a $5,000 donation so they could buy more toys for kids in the area. This was an exciting event. Two schools from Garden City, elementary schools, were given toys to kids that are less fortunate. It makes them appreciate what they have and to be good philanthropic citizens. And um, we're doing that at at and to be good philanthropic citizens in Long Island. The kids in Garden City are being good citizens to others throughout Long Island. It really takes a village and everybody, the whole village, the whole county is here and very different arms doing their part. So we're definitely glad to be a part of this process. AT&T donated $5,000. That helps us buy more toys and fund for, for all the other toys that we don't collect. It helps us go to like Toys R Us and buy some more toys so that we can uh, pass out. It teaches them a life lesson that uh, there's always somebody less fortunate out there that might need something and it's a great lesson to teach the children that hey, start a young, they learn that lesson when they're young and it'll carry over into the future and this is the, this is the next generation of Americans so you couldn't teach a better lesson at this time. Everybody, let's give it up for the man, Mr. Sandler. We're going to be taking toys at any U.S. post office, new unwrapped toy, or any 7-Eleven, a new unwrapped toy, any Nassau County building. County Executive Ed Mangano is also very supportive of us, along with George Maragos, and they make it happen for us. And I want to thank all of you for coming out today. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Kwanzaa.